the Royal Ordnance L7 is the basic model of Britain's most successful tank gun. The L7 was a 105mm-52 rifle designed by the Royal Ordnance factories intended for use in armoured fighting vehicles, replacing the earlier 20-pounder found on the Centurion. The L7 was so successful that it armed not only British post-war designs, but was used almost universally in the West as the main armament of almost every main battle tank of the period. The L7 was a popular weapon and continued in use even after it was superseded by the L11 series 120 unrifled tank gun, for some Centurion tanks operating as artillery forward observation and armoured vehicle, Royal Engineers vehicles. The L7, and adaptations of it, can be found today as standard or retrofitted equipment on a wide variety of tanks developed during the Cold War. The U.S. license-built variant M68 is also fitted to the mobile gun system version of the Striker combat vehicle. History Work on what became the L7 began in the early 1950s under armament research and development establishment at Fort Halstead with the first gun trials in mid-1956. During the Hungarian Revolution of 1956, a Soviet T-54A medium tank was driven onto the grounds of the British Embassy in Budapest by the Hungarians. After a brief examination of this tank's armour and 100mm gun, British officials decided that the 20-pounder was apparently incapable of defeating it. Hence there was a need to adopt a 105mm gun. The L7 was specifically designed to fit into the turret mountings of the 20-pounder. This would enable the Centurions to be upgunned with minimum modifications. Hence, the fleet could be upgraded in a shorter time and at a lower cost. User trials of the weapon began in 1959. The first tank to be equipped with the L7 was a single up-armored Centurion Mark 7 VII in 1959 which was to prove the viability of up-armoring and up-gunning the Centurion. From 1959 onwards existing Centurions were given upgrades with the L7 gun and armor and new builds incorporated the L7 at production. The gun was subsequently adopted by several other nations for their own MBTs, most notably the German Leopard 1, the Japanese Type 74, the Swedish Stratsvan 103, India for its upgraded T-55A, the US M60 series and earliest versions of the M1 Abrams, and the Israeli Merkava. In addition, several countries have used the gun to improve the firepower of existing main battle tanks. Derivatives have even been mounted in Warsaw Pact built T-54 and T-55 tanks in Israel, Egypt and Iraq, and Type 79 tanks in China. Design The breech uses a horizontally sliding breech block for loading the fixed cartridge cases. The gun recoils approximately 29 cm automatically opening the breech and ejecting the empty cartridge case as the gun returns to battery from full recoil. The barrel of the L7 is fitted with a bore evacuator approximately halfway down its length. The extractor is eccentrically mounted, which is a key recognition feature. Specification, caliber, 105mm, cartridge, 105A, 607mmR, 105A, 617mmR, Barrel length, 52 calibers, weight, 1,282 kilograms, length, 5.89 am, rate of fire, 10 rounds per minute, ammunition, APDS, APAS T, APFSDS, 1,475 AMS, canister, dummy, HE, 1,174 AMS, heat, HESH, 737 AMS, Smoke white phosphorus incendiary, target practice, target practice discarding sabot. Variants L7A1, standard British production variant. L7A3, variant for the German Leopard 1 MBT. The upper rear corner of the breech block reduced in size so gun can be depressed without hitting the turret roof. L74, Swedish variant license built by Bofors with a 62 caliber barrel used only for the Stratsvan 103 MBT. M68, US built variant for M60 pattern. Uses a round breech with a vertically sliding breech block, and a different design of bore evacuator. Also used on the M1 Abrams up until its replacement by the M256 on the M1A1. 
used on Israeli tanks up until the Merkava 3. Turkish license built versions by MKEK under the designation of M68 T for the 90mm armed M48 took place in the 1980s. M68A 1E4, variant of the US M68 designed for use on the Stryker MGS, fitted with an automatic loader. KM 68A1, Republic of Korea Army's license produced variant of the American M68 gun. Used on M48A 5K and K1 tanks. Type 7983, Chinese copies of an L7 supplied by Austria. FMK4 Model O and L, Argentine Army's license produced by Fabrications Militaires in Argentina. Used on the TAM medium tank. Usage, Centurion, and derivatives such as Oliphant, EET 10 Cubed Rio, Leopard 1, M1 Abrams in early models. M47 pattern in some upgraded variants, M48 pattern in some upgraded variants, M60 pattern tank, M1128 mobile gun system, K1 Type 88, Merkava Lion 2, OF 40 cm 11 Brave Tiger, PZ61 and PZ68, Stingray Light Tank, Stritzvan 103, T54 in several upgraded variants, T55 in several upgraded variants, TAM medium tank, Type 74, Vickers MBT. Vigenta Ramses II, Chinese Type 88 tank. Notes. References, Zaliger, Stephen J. and Hugh Johnson T-54 and T-55 main battle tanks 1944 a Euro 2004. Oxford, Osprey. ISBN 1-84176-792-1. Don A. General. Mounted Combat in Vietnam. Vietnam Studies. Department of the Army. First Printing 1978. Honeycutt, R.P. Patton, A History of the American Main Battle Tank. 1984. Presidio Press. ISBN 0 89141 230 1. External links.